Hey everyone, just a quick update. Tomorrow is our last morning in Hesperia. We are going to try to leave, um, hopefully before the heat gets real bad, and we're gonna head up north. Uh, Derek starts a work camping job in Klamath, or Klamath. Um, it's right near the border of Oregon and California, and we are very excited. Uh, the weather there is basically perfect, and um, it should be really fun. They have campfires and they were really uh, excited to hear that Derek plays the guitar and we have an acoustic guitar in our RV and they've like asked him if he would like to participate around the campfires that they have weekly. So that was, that was pretty cool and it should be really fun. So we're really excited for that and on the way up um, Derek's biological dad lives in Lakeport. So that's right along the way. It's about four hours from our destination. So we're gonna hit that up and we're gonna see him. We haven't seen him in seven-ish years. Um, so that should be really fun. Um, and they haven't seen their grand, and he hasn't like seen his grandkids or met them since they've been born. So it should be really fun. Um, we did get our truck. I'm sitting in the truck right now. Um, the person whose check bounced actually ended up wiring us the money um, since the check failed, um, which greatly helped us in getting the truck out. It was basically the exact amount of money that we needed to get the truck out. So that was uh, definitely awesome, and I'm really thankful that um, that person wired the money so that we didn't have to um, have it sitting in uh, the, at the mechanics so long. But um, we are really pumped. We've had a wonderful time here in Hesperia and we're so thankful. Um, we didn't really get to do the things or go the places we wanted to, but it worked out great because um, I, I can... I think we ate out like twice since we've been here and they were both like low 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 budget meals we actually went on a date um, two days ago the people that we're staying with uh, watched both the kids so that we could go on a date and I think the total cost of our date was seven dollars so it was really good we went to this really awesome little Mexican place um, and it was some really really good food even though we've had like some of the best Mexican food since staying here because that's basically what they cook a lot of and uh, anyways the date was great and uh, I also had uh, just a really good time anyways if you're on a strict budget or a low budget uh, no matter what you really just need to keep your marriage number one especially in semi stressful times like these like during the summertime we don't work too much um, because we probably lean more towards just doing the ministry stuff instead of uh, work camping so much so uh, we rely a lot on faith but still no matter what your financial status is, you sh need to go on a date and keep your marriage um, in a good standing, in a really good standing, and have good communication, and um, just have time alone, because sometimes things can get overwhelming, and so can kids, and just the surroundings. So forgetting about that for a little bit and going out and having a date with your significant other is important and helps a lot, so. Anyways, that's what we have done, and we have saved a ton of money on fuel because basically our truck has been gone this entire time since we've been here, and um, we really haven't had to put too much gas in the truck um, since getting it a couple days ago. Um, for those of you curious at all about our financial status, um, we technically don't have um, the entire amount to get up to NorCal, but um, that's where our faith kicks in, and if you've even listened to, I mean, 
any of our stories about like our marriage and how we started this, um, then you know that we rely on our faith quite a bit. And, you know, just some of the stuff that we've been through, basically faith is all we have. And we felt like this is something that the Lord has steered us to anyways, so why would he not support us? If you if you don't get that, it's totally cool, but um, we are going up there and things will be fine. I'm not even worried about it. We'll be taken care of. Um, things will normally just always come through, so I'm not stressed about it. Neither is my husband. Things will be fine, and we're keeping a really good attitude and having faith as we should always do. Um, a huge, huge, huge shout out to um, a viewer named Jim. He actually emailed us and donated uh, some money to us and all that money went to gas. All that money is going, is has already gone to gas and the little bit that's left is going to gas to get up north. So we did not ask for money. We do not ask for money. Um, but it was a huge blessing to us and we're very thankful and we intend to put that to good use and not waste it at all. Um, so thank you, Jim, for that. That was very kind of you um, and not expected. So um, thankful as usual to just God. So um, anyways, we're, we're actually really sad that we're leaving tomorrow. We've been here for a while and um, our kids are very attached to their children and their kids are attached to us and our kids. And so they're, um, whoops, sorry guys. They're really sad that we're leaving and <laughs> one of them has asked if they could just come with us. Um, which if we weren't going that far, I'd probably just say yes. But uh, it's just gonna be another one of those things where our kids are gonna make friends and gonna have to learn that they're gonna have to make uh, new friends where they go. And we explain that to them and encourage our oldest understands to an extent. Um, but they also have, we've also told them that we are coming back here. So these are really good friends of ours and we are super thankful for them and just helping us in this situation. So it's not even a situation. They they benefit from us being here too, believe it or not. They're, it's actually beneficial for us to be here for them as well. So um, we plan on coming back here after we work Amazon and um, spending New Year's with them. So it should be lots of fun, hopefully. Um, but definitely our kids will miss their kids and vice versa. So it will be good. But anyways, there is the truck. Isn't she beautiful? I've missed the truck so much. It runs very, very smooth. So, and that actually was the wheel that need replaced. And uh, actually, for those of you wondering, we, the people that we're staying with um, have friends that are mechanics and they are the ones that gave us a better deal than um, the shop did. But still, it was, it was still a lot, just um, a good 150 less than what the mechanics were asking locally. So that's good, right? Good, eh? So we're really thankful for the connections that they had and able to help us out like that. But things are really good. Things have been good. We're very thankful and um, we're really excited slash sad about leaving tomorrow. Um, and I hope that the, the drive goes safely. I'm not real partial on going through the very hot mountains, especially when the signs say turn off your AC so your engine doesn't overheat. Um, but things will be fine. It'll be good. It usually always just works out. So having faith is key in this situation. But um, once again, thank you to Jim and thank you everyone who watches. And I will update as we go on the road. More than likely we'll be staying at truck stops, but we will um, be taking an extra precaution when we stay at truck stops this time and just double 
double checking with the um, attendant at the counter that it's okay for us to stay there even if there um, are other RVers I think that will just be courteous and ask anyways um, yeah because the whole Vegas thing was a, a real big surprise to us we thought everything was okay because we had gone in there and um, not had an issue but Apparently, the security guard had an issue, but it's okay. Lesson learned. You know, you can't you can't really live this lifestyle unless you learn lessons like that or learn from other people. So, learn from us. So, and have a good attitude about things. So, anyways, that's all for right now. The sun is setting. It's getting really dark, but it's very very pretty. So, I think I'm gonna go spend the rest of the night with our hosts and just have a good last night here and spend some time with the kids. All right, bye guys, thanks.